All right, so in this video, we are gonna cover how I painted these walls white. And it just will give it a cleaner look and um, obviously reflect way more light. So this is cinder block, or it was bare cinder block. And what I did is slapped up nine gallons of block filler, two coats, and then one and a half gallons of gloss white. So I don't care what kind of garage surface you have, whether it's drywall, OSB, cinder block, whatever, paint it white. It'll appear so much brighter, easier on the eyes. It'll require less lighting and so forth. So, so let me just show you real quick how I did this. And those of you just new to the channel, I just moved and this is the new garage. So I'm just in the process of setting it up. And of course it's not done. I still got to do the ceiling, um, but that's for a later time. I have to get out of the old house in a week and a half. So I'm just trying to do what I can before I move all my stuff in. All right, so what I did is I cut off like a bunch of these concrete nails. So I just used a grinder with a cutoff tool and there's probably like 20 or 30 of them that were, you know, all over the place. So the walls have nothing on them, no nails sticking out or anything like that. So uh, that's good. Um, so the goal now is I'll just vacuum in here really well and then I'll hit this thing all with a power washer, the walls and everything. So that way we can prep for paint later in the week. Um, now the electrical, I am, I'm going to shit can all of it and, and start over, you know, with new EMT on the walls. But uh, for now, um, it's just going to be like this. Um, this guy, like, you know, this is loose. So I'll redo all of that. Um, not sure if this is old school doorbell or what, I don't know, but anyway, we'll get rid of all that. All right, if you guys don't have one of those surface cleaners, get one. It's awesome. I even put it up on the walls and there was minimal, uh, I didn't get sprayed. So I just planted that guy on the wall, moved it around and, you know, just real quick to get all the dust off, all the cobwebs. And then I shot back the whole floor. So it's, you know, I just finished and it's drying up real quick. So, you know, just a quick job. There's a couple oil stains here that definitely came out a little bit, but they're still there. You know, I can work on that um, some other time. But anyway, now on to like patching some holes. So what I'll do is I'll get some mortar and uh, we'll just do a quick patch on, on some imperfections here. You know, there's little holes from anchors and whatnot over the years. Um, so I will patch those up. Uh, there's some holes here. Yeah, so pack it with mortar and then like in two to three days, you know, plan on slapping up some paint here. And I'll work around all this electrical until, yeah, so you can see the wet mark right here, see? So I just planted that surface cleaner up over here and the electrical outlets, I didn't even kill power and it barely, you know, water didn't even get near it. All right, so it's the next day. All the power washing water has dried out and what I've done is went around the walls oh my finger I can't and patched all the holes with some mortar so I just went around filled everything um, this kind of stuff I'm not worried about I'll just paint right over that or pull them out in the future but whatever I'm just trying to get the big holes like remember that hole that hole was like a golf ball golf ball size hole and I just patched it up. So, 
you know, just mixed up some mortar. Got one more hole to do here. I'm going to try to do this. Oh, man. Try to do this one-handed here. So I got something like this. So I just got to jam it in there. Sorry, guys. My tripod's at the other house. Okay, and then I just kind of go over my finger. I don't have a brush. I don't have a sponge. I'm just going to... There. Good enough. And then there's one right there. Let's try to do that one. So I jam it in there and then kind of tool it with my finger. It's okay if this stuff, oh man, camera works terrible. So, good enough. So, I'm going to go to the store and get some block filler, at least five gallons, and just start slapping that stuff up here uh, tomorrow after all this stuff dries. All right, so what we're going to do now is put on some of this block filler. So, as you can see, it's for cinder block, bare cinder block, and it just uh, fills it. Okay, and this stuff is supposed to be inexpensive, like, you know, 15 bucks a gallon or whatever, so you don't burn up your top coat because this stuff is like 30 bucks a gallon. Um, so hopefully one to two coats of this stuff. Um, and then here's what I got for the top coat. It's a uh, high gloss, super white, and that's it. So um, it'll be nice and bright in here, reflect a lot of light. Now... This stuff is so thick. This is actually what I used in my old garage. It's like one and a half nap roller. And you can see it's basically like a mop. I basically dunk this in the bucket and then just mop it on the wall. And it doesn't roll right away until this thing becomes a little drier. So you just mop it on, slop it on there, try to fill the gaps, and then you back roll it as nicely as possible. And as you can imagine, it's super goddamn messy. So, I got this all taped up because it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of spillage. So we'll just focus on this wall for now. All right, so here we are, one coat in, and uh, there's no lights on in here. It's just natural light coming in through the window. I got a little bit of cutting to do around that mini split. Um, this is about five and a half gallons. So I ran through a whole five gallon bucket and got more. Um, and I plan on doing a second coat with the block filler. And over here, this is where the addition was. It's taken a lot less product. This here, the original, it's, you could just see it's so much rougher. It's so porous. So, um, and then you can see like spots like this. I really need to get in there with a brush and work it in. Um, but two coats of block filler, and then we will top coat it with the gloss white. And of course, I'll do above the garage door and the ceiling. The ceiling's gonna be later. I'm just trying to do the walls and then get all my stuff in here in a week or two. So, yep, let's do a second coat. All right, so we got two coats of the block filler. It's looking real good. Um, it's 8 o'clock at night. The sun's going down and we just got these two light bulbs in here and it's it's a huge difference already obviously. Um, and then tomorrow goes the top coat gloss ultra white. And that's it man. You know it's just a it's just a huge Huge difference, and the ceiling looks terrible. We'll worry about that later, at a later time.
All right, guys, so it's all done. It came out great. It's really bright in here, much brighter than it was before. And the thing with uh, a gloss white paint, it's very slippery, or not slippery, but it's slipperier and it's smooth, so that will make cleaning super easy and it just freaking reflects a lot of light. I mean, just look at, look at the difference, right? You got bare cinder black, right? And a gloss white. So um, I didn't finish off over here. Um, I, so I'm imagining what's gonna go here is my compressor with my somewhat of a closet I made for it, or it's just a pegboard wall. So that's all gonna be hidden. Uh, down here, I didn't focus too much because I'm gonna have to build some L-shaped wood piece to co cover this, this line set so it doesn't get damaged, okay? And what else do I gotta do? Um, I stepped in some paint and walked around, so I gotta power wash this or use some denatured alcohol or something to get this off. So, like an idiot, I didn't uh, freaking cover it good enough. But yeah, that's it for this video. Um, in the next video, not sure what's next in this build. Probably um, I'm gonna figure out an attic staircase pull down so I can start throwing stuff up there, uh, make use of the attic space. And then from there, it's probably uh, hanging stuff on the walls. I'm probably gonna build some Unistrut shelving so I can put up stuff and we'll go from there.